purpose of this lesson is to show you more about how to find out the returns to scale of a particular concrete production function that I give you in algebraic form. So let's take q equals w to the one half f to the one quarter. Well the old quantity is obtained by taking the original amount of water raised to the one half power times the original amount of fertilizer raised to the one quarter power. The new quantity is obtained by taking twice the old quantity to the one half power times twice the old the other one is twice the old quantity of water to the one half power and then tw twice the old quantity of fertilizer to the one quarter power. So this is two to the one half w naught to the one half, two to the one quarter, f naught to the one quarter, it's two to the one half plus one quarter, w naught to the one half, f naught to the one quarter. So we have two to the three quarters, and w naught to the one half times f naught to the one quarter is just the old quantity. Now two to the three quarters is less less than two to the first. So output has less than doubled, and therefore you have decreasing returns to scale. Let's do another example. Q equals 2 w to the 1 half f to the 1 quarter. This 2 could be confusing, but it, appear, it doesn't have anything to do with the doubling of the inputs. It just appears in the original production function. So the old quantity is twice w naught to the one half f naught to the one quarter. The new quantity is obtained by so let me do it in words first. We're going to take twice the new water to the one half times the new fertilizer to the one quarter. Twice the new water to the one half times the new fertilizer to the one quarter. So the amount of new water is put in parentheses and the amount of new fertilizer is put in parentheses. That gets us 2 times 2 to the 1 half w naught to the 1 half times 2 to the 1 quarter f naught to the 1 quarter. There are various ways of writing this. I'm going to keep the original 2 all by itself in the beginning, but I'll combine the others. It's 2 to the 1 half plus, whoops, one quarter w naught to the one half f naught to the one quarter oh, one half plus one quarter is three quarters w naught to the one half plus f naught to the one quarter we saw over here is the same as q naught uh, I'm sorry it's it's n nope that's a little premature isn't it Let's just leave that for now as as w naught to the one quarter. I'm sorry, w naught to the one half, f naught to the one quarter. Okay, now we want this to be two, two to some power times the old quantity. So let's look at the old quantity. So the old quantity is here. It's two times w naught to the one half, f naught to the one quarter. So I have to manipulate what I've got here in order to make it in this form plus or time something else. So the way I do that is put the 2 to the 3 quarters out in front and then what I have left is 2 w naught to the 1 half f naught to the 1 quarter and that 2 w naught to the 1 half f naught that's q naught so the whole thing becomes 2 to the 3 quarters times q naught, and then as I said before, that's less than 2 to the first times q naught, and so you have decreasing returns to scale. Okay, so that's the way that example works. Here's another example. This is of a different type. 
equals w to the one half plus two f to the one half. So there's a plus sign here. So that's what makes it different. So the initial quantity is w naught to the one half plus two f naught to the one half. And then for the new quantity Every place where there's a w naught, I'm going to substitute two w naught, and every place where there's an f naught, I'm going to substitute two f naught. So I have two w naught to the one half plus two times two f naught to the one half. I'm going to go a little bit slowly. I'll keep the first term the same. So here. I'll remove the parentheses, so I have 2 times 2 times f naught to the 1 half, which is 4 f naught to the 1 half. So now I'll get, get rid of the parentheses, I've got 2 to the 1 half, w naught to the 1 half, plus, and it will actually turn out that making this a 4, I'm going to have to undo it, but let's just see how it works. Plus 4 to the 1 half, f naught to the 1 half. Okay, now 4 to the 1 half is 2. Now let's see where I am. I want to get something of this form times 2 to the something. Uh, what I have is right here. It's less confusing to look at the first term. Okay, the first term I want to be w naught to the 1 half, and right now it is, it's w naught to the 1 half times 2 to the 1 half. So what I can do is pull a 2 to the 1 half out. And then I get what I wanted, which is the first term of w naught to the 1 half. But I have to pull 2 to the 1 half out of the other term as well. I claim that that then becomes 2 to the 1 half times f naught to the 1 half. And that's a little confusing you can check the other way that it works. If you multiply 2 to the 1 half times 2 to the 1 half, you do get 2. So that's actually correct. Now, what I have in parentheses, you can check, is just q naught. Let me give you a second to look at that. What I have in parentheses at the bottom is the same as q naught at the top. I suppose we could do this in one more step. 2 to the 1 half, w naught to the 1 half, plus, and now I'll collect the terms. 2f naught to the 1 half. Now it looks even more close. In fact, it's identical now to the q naught that's on the second line. And therefore, I can write this as 2 to the 1 half times q naught, and this is less than 2 to the first power times q naught. So we have a less than double of output, so we have decreasing returns to scale. Finally, let's look at this example. q equals w to the 1 half plus f to the one-third. At the old quantity is w naught to the one-half plus f naught to the one-third, and the new quantity is 2 w naught to the one-half plus 2 f naught to the one-third. So I can write this as 2 to the one-half w naught to the one-half plus 2 to the one-third f naught to the one-third. 
Now I'd like the new quantity to be some multiple of the old quantity. The old quantity started with w naught to the one half. The new quantity has a two to the one half sign in between. So let's try to get it to look like q naught by pulling out a two to the one half. Okay, the first term does look like q naught. But now what do I do? I I uh for the second term here I have a two to the one half. I need to get two to the one third. Now one half is three six and one third is two six. So I have in front I have two to the one half, which is which is two to the three sixths. And I need to get two to the one third. So I need to multiply this by two to the minus two six. Because two to the three six times two to the minus two six is Nah, it's not one six. It should be two to the minus one six. And so if you multiply those two together, you'll get two to the three minus one divided by six, which is two to the two divided by six, which is two to the one third, which is what I want. So f not to the one third. Well, which I could write here too, it doesn't matter. And neither one of these helps because I can't get q naught in the parentheses. This is q naught, f naught to the one half plus f naught to the one third. But I don't have that in parentheses down at the bottom because I've got I've got this thing messing it up. So I'm not successful in getting the new q to be 2 to something times the old q. So at this point, I don't know what to do. The other, your other thought might be, well, I, I got the first term to work out, but that messed up the second term. What if I get the second term to work out? And so start from here and try a new line of attack pulling out a 2 to the 1 third. Well, then the second term will work to get uh, Q naught. But the first term is not going to work. I've got W naught to the 1 half. But, see, so originally I have 2 to the 1 half, which is 3 6. And now I have 2 to the 1 third. So let me keep track of it. I've got 2 to the 1 third, which is 2 to the 2 6. And what I need is 2 to the 1 half, which is 3 6. So I need another 1 6. Because that would give me three six, which is which is one half. Okay, so so this is correct, but this doesn't get me what I need either. Because what's in parentheses is not q naught. Q naught is this over here, and that's just w naught to the one half times f naught to the one third, and that's not what this is. So actually, although I haven't made any algebraic mistakes here, we can ignore this part for now. Although I haven't made any algebraic mistakes here, I can't express the new quantity as 2 to some power times the old quantity. And so there's no way to determine whether this is increasing, decreasing, constant returns to scale. And that's actually the, the answer. There are some production functions that aren't, in general, one kind of returns to scale or another. And this just happens to be an example of one of those, that you can't say whether it's increasing, decreasing, and constant returns to scale. Uh, with calculus, you could get a so-called local uh, returns to scale notion, but we're not using calculus here.
So sometimes the procedure doesn't work, and it's because the production function doesn't have a certain kind of returns to scale everywhere.